So let me now answer your questions um, from the topic um, interview. Which type of interview is appropriate for a phenomenological study? Again, it depends on how you want to plan that. Walang specific na na na, na menu na ito yung gagamitin mo pag phenomenological study. It depends kung, kung, kung paano mo ipaplan yung phenomenological study. Pwede kasi iba-iba eh. How do you handle unwanted distractions when you interview a particular participant? Again, depende sa pagpaplan mo. Kaya na-anticipate mo na yung mga iba-ibang problema. So, the best thing is to direct the uh, um, yung participant doon sa direction ng, ng goal ng studies mo. Okay. So, regardless kung anong klase yung direct uh, distraction yan, um, uh, directa pa rin doon sa, sa goal mo. Pero, just for example, May mga distractions kasi na, na pwedeng maging relevant doon sa study mo. Kasi for example, when you're working in a community, when you're working in a community, maraming nangyayari sa paligid. So, minsan nagiging necessary yung distractions na yan. It really depends on what you want, what you intend to study. Um, what to do when the interview we feel intimidated and try to speak up. Again, what is again is important to establish connection, establish relationship. Kaya kailangan maging relax yung yung participants o yung yung um, interviewee mo sa iyo. Okay? Will the interview be effective with this long and constructed and semi-structured with 5 to 10 participants? It really depends. You really have to plan. It depends on the nature of your study. It depends on the goal of your study. You have to plan it out. Okay? How do you balance your personal bias during your interviews and your main objective for research? It's just a, it's basically being mindful of it. Na nagiging bias ka. Okay? Sometimes you really have to stop it, to stop what you're doing and really I mean, reflect on what on on your thoughts. Para alam mo ang, ang, ang different between your own bias and yung goal mo sa research mo. Um, if ever we, we have our set of questions for the interview, then while doing the actual interview with the participant, there are some statements that lead us to formulate another question. Is it okay to include it? Yeah, definitely. May mga, during the interview, the interview may mga surface ng mga importante mga bagay na pwede kang mag, mag follow up ng tanong. So, so pwede yun. Um, is it possible to have more than one type of interview? Pwede. Di, di, depende sa depende kung paano ka nag-respond sa sitwasyon, na, paano ka nag-respond sa context. Depende sa plan mo. Depende sa nature ng study mo. What is the ideal number of questions that researchers should prepare for the interview? At most five. I mean, um, very uh, very comfortable na yung five. Don't go, go beyond it. Kasi pwede pang Pwede pa magkaroon ng mga follow-up questions. Eh. Pero ang dami-dami ng questions is too much. Parang ma mabobor yung nasa iyo <laughs> yung, yung mga, mga participants mo. Mapapagod sa iyo. Mahirap, mahirap kayo mag-isip. Okay? Pag ang dami-dami mo mga tanong. What, the, what is the ideal number of okay What should the researcher do if she can handle the problem encountered while like, conducting the interview? So again, ito yung mga bagay na in-anticipate mo na. So given the nature, given the context, given the part, the, the, the kind of participants you can have, so na-anticipate mo na yun. Pero pag may mga problema na talaga na hindi mo kaya, you can always stop stop it. Uh, you can always reschedule it. Okay? Kasi, kaysa, you always have to protect the the participants. Kasi lalo na kapag yung, yung situation nagiging threat na doon sa buhay ng tao, then stop it. Okay, that's why, that's why it is very important to plan it very well. Um, how would you detect if the interviewee uses deception during an interview? Um, makikita mo yung deception kapag pag meron ng mga inconsistencies. At makikita mo yung inconsistencies kapag nag-follow up question ka at so iba-iba yung sagot. So, meron, meron problema doon. But again, that is part of your data. Okay. At meron, may, may mga time din naman na pwede kang mag-follow up interview. If that is possible. 
tackling tips to conduct substantial interview, I believe that it is also important to know the alternative ways when a circumstance in an interview occur. In a situation in where an interview is started to manifest discomfort and anxiety, what are the necessary steps for an interview to do? Then, stop it. Okay, pwede mo naman itigil yun. Wala namang problema kapag ititigil mo na siya. Kasi parang ipupush mo yung issue, yung issue, issue ng, pag, ng interview at the, at the expense of the, of the participant. So yeah, you simply have to stop it. <clears throat> Kaya importante na, na bago ako mag-interview na ma-size up mo yung, yung klase ng mga tao na interviewin mo. At again, as it's very important, lalo na sa, sa inyong mga baguhan, na simplify simplify niyo yung yung pagtatanong niyo na wala masyadong ma-trigger na na mga memories na mahirap i-handle kasi pag mga ganyan kasi na papasok ka sa mas komplikado na mga issues kinakailangan na ready ka okay ready ready ka sa sa mga skills mo just for example for counseling for listening at uh, just for example may uh, bigla na magbe-breakdown so, alam mo kung paano i-handle yun. Pag hindi mo kayang i-handle yun, patay ka. Okay? So, simplify your 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 question. As of this time, nabaguhan pa lang kayo. Um, upon watching the module, module presentation, I noted that the part of the departmentology methodology wasn't discussed properly because of the time. So my question is, are you going to have self-study of the topics under um, self-study of the topics under methodologies that we are going, doing since we are doing our research? Alam mo, and, and na lahat ng information eh. It's just a matter of, of opening it. It's just a matter of exploring it yourself. Okay? Kasi kung iisa-isahin ka yan, hindi, hindi ka kayanin ng buong semester kapag iisa-isahin mo yan. Okay? Alright. As an introverted person, one of my challenges is to engage small talk with people. I'm quite shy when I ask questions, especially to those people that I don't know personally. So I may ask if you have any tips of those introverted people who will conduct an interview. I don't know. Introverted people. Okay. Um, it's just a mindset. Uh, it's just a matter of... of, of Really developing your skills is a matter of of exposing yourself to people. Okay. Is conducting interview for research during the pandemic still possible? If yes, it is. Is it reliable? Kaya nga um, sa sa panahon ng pandemic, mismo sa loob ng bahay mo, marami ka na pwedeng may interview eh. Okay. Um, na hindi mo na kinakailangan lumabas. Gawin mo case study. Gawin mo case study yung kapatid mo kung gusto mo. O gawin mo case study yung buong pamilya mo kung gusto mo. But, um, uh, so, so given, given the issue of pandemic at yung, yung risk na baka mahawa tayo, so, you can always um, um, focus your in your your research. Yan lang mismo sa bahay ninyo. Okay. Is conducting interviews for research during the pandemic pa during the pandemic still possible? If yes, is is still is this okay? Uh, multiple researchers have been conducted to indigenous people. Um, does it give any benefits to their De depende kung ano yung goal mo kung ang goal mo lang ay kumuha ng datos hindi sila mag-benefit doon pero kung ang goal mo gamitin mo yung datos to benefit them okay then it will definitely um tawag dito contribute to their to their well-being to their welfare okay may meron kasi mga researcher na pagkatapos kung kumuha ng dato ay iwanan na lang nila um, mm, can we ask how to prepare properly set of questions for an interview and what is the real ideal time frame for 
ideal time frame of interview um there's not just such an ideal time you, you have to know who your participants are for example you're dealing with community so tingnan mo kung ano yung pinaka appropriate time para sa kanila na interviewin sila okay hindi ikaw parang hindi lang hindi ikaw ang susunod na on sa oras so kailangan mag-adjust doon sa mga tao um will there be a risk in achieving true data um Will there be a risk in achieving true data if you give the question to your participants that they need to think about their answers before you recall the response? Um, ang, ang problema lang nito parang nawawala na yung, yung candidness, yung, yung pagiging natural, yung parang napaplano na nila kung anong isasagot. Uh, again, it, it, it really depends on, on your goals. Um, it really depends kung ano yung gusto mo makita. If, for example, you would like to clarify something by asking, so you mean to say you feel like variable A because of variable B, instead of please explain further, would would that be considered a leading question? Po? When you, when when uh, when you say when you want to explain something, it means merong merong mga bagay na gusto kong klaruhin. Kasi lalo na kapag masyadong very generic yung sagot sa yo, you might want to. To, to clarify those responses. If, for example, we'd like to, okay, in conducting an interview, is there any limit to the number of participants? Um, it depends sa uh, some methodology mo, it depends sa kind of study na gusto mong pag-aralan. Aside from, from interviewee, fatigue, interview with fatigue, what are the other common challenges that are most likely to happen while the interview is ongoing? How do we resolve it? Um, again, planning is, 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 is the most important. Na, na, natawag dito na parang huwag mo masyadong i-overwhelm i- yung, yung, yung i-interviewin mo. Lalo na kapag masyadong, I mean, busy-busy sila sa buhay nila, tapos sisingit ka lang, tapos ang dami-dami mong demand sa kanila. Just make it very, uh, what do you call this, um, very comfortable, very comfortable for them. Okay? Kaya nga, ang importante nito, kapag na-meet mo na sila, yung, yung pagpaplano mo, so given, for example, an hour of the interview, na makakapture mo yung dapat i-capture. Okay? Uh. How can a researcher know that the numbers of interviewees are adequate to, su- to suffice the need of? How can a researcher know that the number of interviewees are adequate uh, to suffice the need for the research? Again, it depends on the kind of study you want. Pwedeng ang isa lang eh. How can we how can we ensure? How can we ensure the emotional security or, or build rapport to the participant given the, given the circumstances of the pandemic? Um, so, I mean, as, as of this time, so, but I'm trying to emphasize with you, um, try to simplify your question na, na hindi kayo magtitrigger na masyadong malalim na emotional, emotional na um, tawag dito na mag evoke na masyadong malalim na emotional responses because as of this time you are not capable yet of handling it okay so simplify your questions kasi kung mas, mas, masyado ng palalalimin yung mga tanong na makakatrigger ng, mga, ng mas malalim na emotional responses o malalim na memories okay emotional memories um, baka hindi nyo kayang i-handle yun okay Right. How to deal with the uncooperative participant who tries to give you misleading information on your interview? Um, uh, again, what, what is uh, I've been emphasizing the very start, 
yung importante yung connection, importante yung comfortable, uh, comfortable sila sa iyo. At uh, makita nila pwede kang pagkatiwalaan. Kasi nagkakaroon minsan ng, ng misleading kapag wala silang hindi hindi ka pwede mapagkatiwalaan sa sa mga bagay-bagay na sa mga information na meron sila sa sarili nila. So that's one thing that you really have to 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 understand how am I going to establish a a good relationship with them, okay? A good connection with them. Um, and even if there's, there there are uncooperative participants, that they can always be part of your study. You know that that can always that can also be part of your data, okay? In quant quantitative research, it's possible to conduct an interview to gather data. In, um, uh, talking about quantitative research, is it possible to conduct an interview to gather data information? Um, when talking about quantitative cases, is 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 how to call this? It's very generic, and um, of course, definitely. I mean, in quantitative research, you you, you can conduct an interview. But per masyado siyang ano eh, hindi siya, hindi, unlike with the qualitative, you cannot expand it, expand it. Very specific lang siya. In, uh, in quantitative research, it's possible to conduct an interview to gather data or information. Um, okay. In conducting an interview, how can we know if the participant is not lying or making up a story? Again, um, I answered that already, so you can always do some follow-up questions. Kung, kung may inconsistency, yun na yun, okay? Okay. And, and depending on some gusto mong iporso, you can always do some follow-up uh, follow questions or follow-up interview para mas makita may consistency. Kung gusto mo pa rin siya maging participant sa study mo, um, when using interview as a method in qualitative research, how can the research researchers include the participants? When using interview as a method in qualitative research, um, how can the researchers include the participants' answer to the study while keeping their private information confidential? And I mean, you don't have to mention the names. You don't even have. I mean, you um, you have to keep the the personal information. Okay. What is the primary aim of, of in-depth interview? So basically, the, the primary aim of the, the, of the in-depth, yung kaya nga tinawag na in-depth, ay para mas mapalawak mo pa yung, mapalawak mo pa yung information tungkol doon sa, for example, sa, um, tungkol sa isang topic na gusto mong alamin. Okay. Kasi hindi, pag sinabi mo kasi in-depth interview, hindi ka, um, hindi marami kang marami ka bang pwedeng alamin na pinam, maraming elements na na included sa isang sa isang situation na, na sa isang tanong lang hindi mo agad maka-capture yun so for you to capture the different elements that there is involved on a, a specific context on a specific problem then you go for in-depth interview how could we effectively choose what type of interview you are going to conduct how could we effectively choose what type of interview or, or, or what, how could we effectively choose what type of interview to conduct based on our resource design? Um, what type of interview? Again, it, it, it depends. It depends on your plan. It, it depends on, on your goals. It depends on what you really want to study. Okay. For qualitative research, is it better to use observation or interview for the research method? Very often, pareho mo silang, pareho mo silang gagamitin. Okay? Ideally, um, if you're going to do an interview, definitely you'll be doing observation. And when you're doing an observation for you to clarify what you have observed, you definitely you, you will be interviewing. One of the advantages um, for qualitative research, it's better to use observation. Is it better? Oh, okay. One of the advantages of, of interview is is that 
is that thought processes and behaviors can be observed. One of the advantages of interview is that thought processes and behaviors can be observed. If the interview would be done online, would it create barrier between the interviewer and the interviewee? So much, so how much would it affect the reliability of the search? Kapag online kasi, hindi mo, um, in, yun yung limit, eh, hindi mo ma-size up ng, ng mga malaliman kung yung authenticity ng interview. Um, but um, there might be different ways to to uncover some some oh, I, mean, I mean a more authentic connection or a more realistic um, data perhaps with your follow-up questions or other or follow-up questions or other or other activity that you can do online aside from the interview um, where are we? Um, one of the advantages is that, all right, what if a respondent for your interview and you're, you're almost done, but then decide that they do not want to proceed with the interview anymore? Is it ethical to somehow convince the respondent to consider participating or just stop and find? So, magmamanganon, you you always you always consider the um the I mean respect the interests of of the participant you don't have to push them you don't have to force them kung ayaw ay di ayaw okay all right kasi pag pinilit mo rin baka hindi mo rin makuha yung yung sagot na na, na gusto mo makuha um kaya nga um Iyon yung mga isa sa mga anticipations na, na kinakailangan mo makita. So kung, 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 kung nagpa-plano ka, isa, isa, sa mga, ano, isa sa mga aspeto yan na i-anticipate mo na may, may magba-back out talaga. So um, you should have enough. Dapat meron kang plan view. So for example, you have enough participants. Kung may mag-back out man, you still have sufficient participants para makuha na na enough para para sa datos na gusto mong makuha. In using focus group interview, it is said that 5 to 10 respondents are enough. Okay. Can researchers exceed the number of respondents if they, they like to, like they would want to add more? Again, it, it, it really depends on you. Um, it depends on how you how you want want your research to be. It depends on your goal. Okay. If you didn't follow the guidelines, is your interview still reliable or can can be used in your um kung when, when you're talking about the guidelines, for example, are are you referring to your specific um your specific goal, your specific plan? Kung hindi mo sinunod ito, okay. At um marami marami magbabago doon sa sa goal mo Ma maari hindi mo ma-achieve yung dapat ang, ang, ang dapat mo ma-achieve kaya nga from the very start we're doing the research design para ba para bago ka mag mag maggather ng data alam na alam mo kung anong gusto mong gawin at the end of everything um magkaroon man ng mga gaps hindi ganun ganun kalawak yung gaps okay kaya kaya kailang sundin mo yung plano mo Okay. Um, in using focus group interview, it is said that, um, okay, as of now that we are in college and if given the opportunity to interview, how can we better interview them? Um, we can better interview them if, um, um, Again, um, given the pandemic situation, uh, that is why I'm, I'm, what I'm asking is just focus your interview inside your homes. Do not never get out of your homes because of the risk of meeting people, okay? Of meeting people face to face. 
Okay. All right. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't follow the guidelines, is your interview so, okay? Okay. Now look at this one. Can 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 be interview can interview observation using the same date time data gathering. Again, can interview and observation be used in the same time of data gathering? Nakakasabay na din naman yan eh. Um, pwede na una yung, yung observation, then your interview. You know, pwede na una yung interview, then you go you go to the, to, to the observation. Okay. Is it possible to interview via phone call or voice message? Again, um, ano ba yung gusto mong makita? Okay. Ano ba yung gusto mong malaman? Pero paano ka makakasigura yung, 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 yung validity o yung reliability ng, ano, ng, uh, ng datos mo? Paano ka makakasiguro na yun talaga yung gusto mong makuha sa kanila? E paano kung hindi, hindi, hindi sila yon O paano kung may nagdidikta sa kanila na dapat nilang sabihin? What is the best possible way to say that the interview is taking too much time on answering a question? Um, yung nasa harap mo magkasabi sa iyo. Kung nababagot na sila, nabibisit na sa nabibisit na sila sa iyo o so on and so forth. Yung nasa harap mo magkasabi sa iyo. Kung dapat ka nang tumigil. Okay. Is it a good idea to ask for a feedback after the first session? So Again, that is part of your plan. What kind of feedback do you want? What uh, is it part of your plan? Is it is, is it part of your of your design? It depends. Eh. Ano klase ng feedback ang gusto mo? Kasi siguro din mo lang yung feedback na yun, eh. bahagi ng ng plano, bahagi ng method mo yon. Okay. What if you ask a question in the middle of the interview, and it is something sensitive to the person's personal life, but it is really needed to be answered? What if you ask a question in the middle of the interview and it is something sensitive to the person's personal life but it is really needed to be answered and then the person doesn't really like to answer it. So should you avoid the rest of the answer or move on to some somebody new? Um, again, um, bahag ito ng pagpaplano. So kaya nga nag-interview ka paano makakuha ka ng datos. Kung ayaw niya sagot, hindi, hindi ka makakuha ng datos. Kaya again, it is important to establish connection para mapagkatiwalaan ka doon sa gusto mong makuha sa kanya. Okay? So, kung wala makuha ang datos, di, hindi siya kasama. Okay? Alright. So, I just, I mean, to, to clarify things again, just to follow up on, on that question, um, on the, on the methodology, I have given you examples. I actually gave you specific examples on methodology. So, you just have to go back to that. Um, go back to to the specific um, journals specific to the methodology then you will have a better understanding of on how a specific methodology works that data are there okay you just have to use your your creativity to explore it okay okay that's all people thank you